What was that? So. Uh, <laughs> that was terrible. That was really bad. All right, guys, so we're gonna be looking at the landmine today and specifically the core blaster found on EliteFTS.com because it's inexpensive, it's versatile, and it can allow you to do a bunch of different exercises, full body exercises with very minimal equipment. So what I'm gonna to demonstrate today, by me demonstrate, Alex is gonna demonstrate, I'm just gonna stand here and talk about it. Five different exercises that you can do utilizing the core blaster attachment that will give you a full body workout start to finish, all right? So the first move, anytime that you really wanna start a full body workout and get the most bang for your buck, start with a compound move. So we're gonna be focusing in on the legs. With this variation, it's gonna be more like a front squat. But the thing is you need to remember when utilizing a core blaster is if you watch this, the bar travels in an arc. It does not travel straight up and down. So your body needs to be traveling in that same sort of arced position. So when you're dealing with a front squat, utilizing a core blaster attachment, just like a normal front squat, you wanna make sure that your core is nice and tight, lock that rib cage down on that pelvis. And a couple things, you don't wanna to stand too close to the landmine because as you get down farther, that bar is gonna get closer to you. So what we wanna do, kinda of start a few inches away from the chest and what I want you to do, we'll, we'll initiate with the knees, sink back deep. As you can see, that bar is getting closer and closer to his throat and now drive straight up. Perfect, do a couple more reps of that. As you can see, he's not going straight up and down. He's traveling with that bar path, traveling with that arc. Coming all the way down, coming all the way up. Perfect, good. So first exercise down, squats, fantastic way to do that. Next up, what I'm gonna, what we'll actually be doing, and he doesn't know about this, we're gonna switch it up on him. We're gonna focus in on the hamstrings and we're gonna do a single leg RDL utilizing the landmine. So what I want you to do, Alex, mm -hmm. you're gonna start with that landmine in front of you, kind of in front of your junk there. Perfect. So we're gonna be working on your left leg. So that right leg is just gonna be hovering on the ground. So from this position, locking that rib cage down, squeezing that tush. There you go, perfect. Drive, bringing it down, keeping it over your toe the whole time. Letting that leg kick back. There you go. Bring it straight up, squeeze all the way through. Let's get one more. Keeping that right over that foot the whole time. Good. So a couple things, when you're doing unilateral exercises on a landmine, you're gonna have a tendency of wanting to rotate. This is another reason why the landmine's a great tool because it's forcing you to stabilize your core from the, in, uh, do a little of that anti-rotation core training that we talked about in my big medicine ball video that I did the other day. So let's, let's demo that again. You'll see what I'm talking about here. If, for example, he was very, very weak in his core, what's gonna happen? He's gonna start rotating towards that foot. Not great. We wanna lock that core in, resist any of that rotational force, keeping that arm long. There you go. Driving right through that hip. Perfect. So this, is, this attachment is also a great way to have an in-between between, between uh, full single leg work and kind of a modified, modified supported version. Because with a landmine, no matter how difficult the exercise is, you always have that stability of this landmine being attached to the uh, anchor point. For us, it's on a monolift, uh, and for most people, it won't be. So hold on to that. So we got the quads, we got the hamstrings and the glutes. Now what we wanna focus in on, let's do a little bit of upper body. Again, with the landmine, I'm gonna have you take a half kneeling position. We're gonna start with presses. Another reason, landmines are fantastic tools for upper body training, especially those with jacked up shoulders, is because we're able to press without having to go directly overhead. So again, this is like an in-between from direct overhead work and more horizontal pressing. Same idea when we're doing this, focusing on keeping that rib cage down, focusing on driving that bicep to that ear. You can even press in. You can lean into it when you're done. So when you press at the top, kind of finish head through. Good. And this is what this is gonna do. It's gonna allow you to start training that overhead position if you lack that range of motion, that active range of motion to be able to get there on your own. Again, fantastic tool. As always, we're also trying to fix any sort of uh, rotational force that's gonna be going through your body. You're gonna be resisting that. And if we wanna kind of add to that, what we do, stand up. Now, 
when he presses up from a standing position, bring those feet in just a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult, right? He has a smaller base of support, and now what he needs to do is focus more on maintaining that good position. Pressing through, follow it through, all the way, perfect. And as you can see, he's starting to feel a little bit more in that core as well. So, pressing, squats, hinges. Now we have some rows. Now we wanna get the back of the body. So, as made famous by your buddy and mine, John Meadows, let's show, demonstrate a Meadows row. Now from this position, he's looking pretty good. What you don't wanna be doing, you don't wanna be standing up too straight and trying to row, because that just looks ridiculous. And you don't wanna be too far over, because what's gonna happen, because of how that arc moves, it's putting a lot of pressure into that shoulder. So show him one more time with that low position. If you bring that elbow up nice and high, now a lot of that force is going into that shoulder, not what we wanna do. You wanna get into that middle stance, push the hips back a little farther, there you go, good. And you can even bring it, you can step farther towards your left, a little bit more, there you go. Thinking you wanna row into the chest, there you go. Now with these, specifically, I would say I would allow his elbow to come out a little bit because this could be focusing more, even on this way, towards me. Like flare it out a little bit, there you go, good right there and what you're gonna do is when you have a wider elbow you're gonna be getting more of that rhomboid so think about driving with the elbow first there you go and again if you want to get more lat you would rotate that elbow in a little bit more and row so we got the rows we got the presses now what everybody wants to see is how to get that six-pack so let's do some rotations so same idea what you're gonna be doing you're gonna be starting pressing that Landmine straight out in front of you. This is your starting position. What you wanna be doing is you wanna be bringing it to, if imagine a clock, you wanna be three o'clock and then nine o'clock. Yep, you can allow that torso to rotate, but not the hips. We don't want the low back to rotate. So that's a little bit low here. What we don't wanna see, so start at the top. He's over here sweating on me, he's disgusting. <laughs> what we don't want to see is him to come so far down that now it's coming from the hip, right? And coming from that low back. We're focusing in on anti-rotation here. So what we want to see is everything facing forward and he's just moving about the shoulders right there. Good. And up. You can get a little bit of that T-spine rotation, but I wouldn't have that entire body rotating. Perfect. Let's do one more, sweaty. <laughs> Good, perfect. Now, if you're an athlete, you're not just worried about getting stronger, you're also worried about getting faster. Landmine is a fantastic tool for power development as well. So one of the good drills I like to utilize for power development for athletes is called a switch. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start in that split stance position. So switch feet. So you're gonna start in an opposite position as you normally would. You want, if you're gonna go right arm, let's go right leg forward and right hand with the bar. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little bit of a hip drive, drive the arm up overhead and switching the feet, right? So an explosive exercise and let's demo. Good, reset and now you switch the feet back. Nice explosive hop, good, perfect, reset. Nice explosive hop, good, perfect. If you notice, it's kind of like a split jerk, right? So again, this is a fantastic tool for athletes because it allows you to get the benefits of doing a split jerk overhead and being able to get that foot speed without having to go as in depth into a full split jerk or a, uh, overhead presses or anything like overhead presses. No, that's not the same thing. Olympic lifting, that's a different animal. This is a great tool to utilize instead of doing Olympic lifts for some people who don't have the technical skill or they don't really wanna learn how to do it. So again, trying to build up that power, trying to build up that speed. Let's see again, up, good, one more. Up, good, perfect. Again, the landmine, awesome tool, core blaster, find it at elitefts.com. Sweaty Alex, thank you very much for your help today. Fantastic as always. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, share it with your friends, families, enemies, whoever you want. I will see you guys in the next one. 